I want to begin with the emails because there's been so much controversy over that in the last couple of days. Those email leaks from the DNC, which seems to suggest that party officials were favoring Hillary Clinton during the primary process. It's an allegation that was made by Bernie Sanders during the primary process. As someone who really wanted Sanders to be the Democratic nominee, what's your reaction to hearing uh, that those emails exist? It's extremely disheartening. Um, it, like you said, it's exactly what Bernie said this whole time, and it's what many of us delegates understood to be true, that the DNC, by charter, they're supposed to be neutral, and by word, they told us they were going to be neutral in this process. And unfortunately, uh, Debbie and the rest of the, the DNC didn't hold up to that, um, that wor their word. And um, it's a bad look, not only for the DNC, but I think um, just in general, it's it's not a good sign. Um, and as someone supporting Sanders, I mean, we told you so, I guess. Well, it's interesting because, you know, as Bernie Sanders was making his uh, speech earlier today addressing delegates like you, uh, there were many in the crowd who were holding up signs that simply said emails. So those emails obviously angering Sanders supporters. Do you think that's going to cause some type of kerfuffle on the floor when the uh, convention actually begins in earnest? Uh, I certainly think there's 45% um, of us here are for Sanders, and among them are people, like you said, that that's one of their big sticking issues um, here. And so I think there will be, um, you'll be able to see it on TV and you'll be able to tell that some delegates are upset. I think there's still a, a strong showing of Sanders delegates um, that are still listening to his message and taking it, um, taking him at his word and want to follow what he's uh, wished, as do I. Uh, well, let's talk about that, because you, as you say, there are a number of delegates there, nearly half of them, who were Bernie Sanders supporters. We heard a lot of boos uh, at the breakfast earlier today with uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, the, the DNC chair who's going to step aside during this uh, conference. We also heard boos in front of Bernie Sanders. But we also heard Sanders say that people need to rally behind Hillary Clinton, and you seem to be willing to go along. Why? Uh I think by Thursday, I think many of us Sanders supporters will take him and understand that we're going to have a real choice in this country between uh, Donald Trump um, and Hillary Clinton if she is the nominee uh, on Thursday. And uh, the idea of Donald Trump being the next U.S. president is uh, just can't happen. That's insane. Um, and we'll, I'll do my best to make sure Donald Trump is not the next president. That's for darn sure. Well, that said, how do you want the Democratic Party to respond to these allegations that the party officials and the, essentially the, the apparatus did not run a fair primary? What should be the proper response there? I think uh, they owe the Sanders supporters and Sanders himself, Senator Sanders, um, a true apology um, and understand that this can't happen again and make sure that when we go into the primaries for the 2020 um, primary season that it won't happen. Um, I think it's a little too late to do much of anything now, but uh, we can't let this happen again. It's bad for the Democratic Party in general to uh, have these, have finger on the scale um, and making sure that they're not, I mean, they're unbiased, like, and they told us they weren't. It's just insane that they tried to deny it this whole time, and here we are. So I, we're running out of time here, Dallas, but I got to ask you, you, you've essentially made yeah. the decision you're going to support Clinton because you don't want Donald Trump. But when you say that to other Sanders supporters, do they nod in agreement or do you end up having a debate with people who still are unhappy with the way things have worked out here? Well, yeah, let me be clear. Here to, um, at the convention, I will be for Sanders all the way. Uh, my state, Washington State, caucus overwhelmingly for Sanders, and I'm here to uh, represent those people, and so I will support him. Uh, when we leave here, um, if she is a nominee, I'll support her. And yeah, there's a vigorous debate among us delegates on where we go from here, um, where we leave the convention. Um, and I think that's good. That's what Bernie wants. That's what America, American democracy is all about, a debate. Um, and so yeah, we'll debate on where it is, and hopefully we just make sure Trump's not the president. But it's interesting because you just said if she's the nominee. The numbers would suggest she's going to be the nominee, but you're still saying if. Does that mean that there's going to be disruption yeah, going I forward? Mean, I, I mean, I just know there's 45% of us that are for Sanders. They haven't taken a vote yet. The convention hasn't started. Um, once the vote's taken and the vote happens, and she, whoever ends up with the, but like you said, yeah, the number's in her favor. So she's a presumptive nominee. Uh, Bernie wants, uh, says she's going to be a nominee coming out, and I think we all, um, that's the numbers, and that's that's going to be the fact of the matter at this point. But uh, up until then, we're here for Sanders, um, and we got to keep on that.